Hello, IELTS Energy listeners. We have a, a super inspiring guest <laughs> voice for you today. Um, Crystal, can you introduce yourself, please? Well, I'm Crystal Paroli. I took my IELTS exam last July, 23. I'm actually um, living and working here in UAE as a um, nurse. Okay, fantastic. So we have a lot of uh, Three Keys IELTS students who are mm -hmm. Filipino nurses living in the Middle East. Yeah. Before, before we get to your amazing scores, I am just, <laughs> I'm curious, why? Why are there so, why do you have to take IELTS? Actually, I am um, applying for uh, work in USA as a registered nurse also. Okay. Actually, I just had my exam last January. I don't know. I started my review last January and took my NCLEX around April. Okay. And then, thank God, I <laughs> I got it. And after that, I started um, planning to review for IELTS since um, May, May, June, like that. So mm -hmm. you prepared for IELTS for like a couple months then? Is that correct? Actually, I enrolled in Trikis IELTS around June, if okay. I'm not mistaken. And then um, I took my IELTS around July 23, roughly wow. a month or actually less than a month because I'm working full time. <laughs> I oh cannot my really gosh. study every day. Okay. And then... <laughs> Hmm. This is amazing, Crystal, because... Really? <laughs> it is? Well, because yeah! Oh. It <laughs> is, though! Even me, I couldn't believe it that it's, <laughs> my scores are amazing or... <laughs> Okay, yeah. I just, we, we will announce your scores in just one minute, but I just want to, yeah. I just mm -hmm. want to put this into a inspiring context, which is a realistic context for our listeners mm -hmm. and our uh, viewers on YouTube, because guys, Crystal, what, <laughs> less than a month to prepare for IELTS, mm -hmm. okay, and mm -hmm. working full time. As yes. a nurse, which I might add, like, is not a, you know, non-stress job. Um, so, guys, I just want you to just to think about that for a second, because no matter what your situation is, guys, you can do this, right? I mean, so many challenges. Adults have so many challenges. Yes, and, guys, totally. you can do this. Okay. So, Crystal, what were your scores? <laughs> Recently, I got um, 8.5 in listening. Okay. Yes. Reading, 6. <laughs> but that's okay. fine. Uh, and then writing, 7, which is really unexpected. Amazing. And speaking, 7. Overall, okay. it's band 7. That's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> Was you. that the first time you took the test or did you take the test before? Honestly, I took uh, UKVI. But that was yeah. like 2019. Okay. Yeah. So that doesn't mm. count. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? So much happens in like three years, especially yes, these yes. three years. Like that's yes. that doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so you said your writing score was surprising. Why were you surprised to get a seven on writing? Actually, Miss Jessica, up until now I'm wondering why and how <laughs> it happened. <laughs> That's because amazing. Honestly, honestly, I actually practice like once or twice in our course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. I mean, guys, don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> practice a lot. But for me, because I really don't have much time and, you know, after work, you're really tired. And yeah. I mean, it's a 12-hour duty. <laughs> oh, my day. gosh. That's yeah. And then you just have to make time to practice and review everything that in writing really when i saw my scores what writing seven <laughs> really oh my god i couldn't even believe my eyes <laughs> so why do you think that is i mean was it the Actually, like the templates or the like yes yeah it's jessica your templates did the magic <laughs> <laughs> they are magic. I'll, I'll yes. say that much. Okay, so um, tell us about that, though. Like, did you mm -hmm. memorize three templates? And, like, what kind of work did you put in to the writing preparation? Mm -hmm. 
Actually, I have my notebook here. <laughs> because Yay. every time I watch your, I mean, the course, when I do the course, I really jot down notes. Awesome. So in writing, awesome. I put everything, especially the words you gave, the phrases. I mean, how to describe the graphs, the map, everything. Yeah. I mean, actually, I only memorize the idolized words <laughs> because I know they're special. <laughs> and totally. they're high level. <laughs> So you know, okay. Those who are in the standard. Totally. I want. I'm gonna like pause you there real fast because mm -hmm. um, I have a couple notes quickly, guys. Something to think about for for Crystal's story. Busy mm -hmm. people get more done right like this is a phrase that has always resonated with me because when you are super busy mm -hmm. anytime you make for something like IELTS preparation you mm -hmm. are even more focused because you know you don't have enough time you know what yes. I mean so like this is why we multitask like for example when I go to the gym I'm mm -hmm. never just like standing and breathing or whatever. Like I'm always doing something. If I'm on the exercise bike, I also have two weights in my hand and I'm in my hands and I'm wow. doing this at the same time. <laughs> but this is what you have to do when you're a busy adult preparing for IELTS. Mm -hmm. You have to yes. make sure you're choosing the correct materials yes, and then focusing true. hardcore on just those, like nothing else, right? Yes. And also I remember one thing you said, Mr. Jessica, that you have to have good materials. I mean, legit. You, you, you know, I mean, yeah. you have, uh, I mean, there are a lot of reviewers online, YouTube, you just search it so many. a lot at times, yes. But you have to rely on something that is really, um, I mean, you when when you what I, I mean, what I'm trying to say is when I watch your videos, I can feel your heart in every videos. I mean, I mean, guys, the secret here is you just have to love English first. I mean, that's a good point. Yes. Yes. Because um, you're not just trying to review for IELTS. You're trying to do yourself a favor for the future because you will use English in your work. Exactly. Right? <laughs> no, totally. No, mm. that's that's another like big idea though for students to write down and put on their wall and keep in mind. Yeah. You are not mm. learning English for IELTS. I mean, mm. yes, you are right now, but this yes. is for the rest of your life. And nice. also, yes. like IELTS is an English test. It's yep. you, you must <laughs> dial that in, put the effort into natural, mm. real English not textbook English, not yes. test prep mm -hmm. English, real mm -hmm. English if you're going to get a seven or higher and be ready for after IELTS. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And also it's helpful when you listen to native speakers, actually. Of course. There's, that's number one. Aside from uh, hearing the right pronunciation, you're also like somehow it gets in you how to speak right the, yeah the, you know the, what the <laughs> that is an interesting observation though i think there is something to that because let's mm -hmm. compare if you are listening to something made for students right like mm -hmm. um i mean there's great websites out there like esl lab yeah. i recommend mm -hmm. it for yes. our three key mm -hmm. students to practice yes. listening it's in your study plan <laughs> it's yeah i mean that's yes. a great website but mm -hmm. that's made for students so when you're listening yeah. to like a you know something like that like amy mm -hmm. buys a camera or whatever when you're listening to that you're not connecting to it on the same level as listening to um, a comedy podcast that you like mm -hmm. you yeah. know mm -hmm. um so yes. less english will sink in when you're listening to just stuff for students, right? And it's not going yes. to push you to that natural level. Mm -hmm. So yes. what what did you find were your favorite ways to connect to real natural English? What do you like listening to? What do you like watching? Well, number one is your <laughs> podcast. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Just kidding. Yes. <laughs> and then um, I find myself really watching just anything in english but okay. one thing that uh i really followed is the 60 minutes australia what's that i mean they they are reporting different kinds not crimes but different stories about some people some 
mysteries, you know, some arguments. Oh, okay. So yeah, because in America, we like 60 Minutes is one of our oldest mm -hmm. news programs. So I think it's yeah. like that, right? Is it yeah. is it video or is it just audio? Actually, it's video and nice. it can be audio also. Yes. Oh my God! News but programs also, like that I, are fun because they dive yes. deep into like the story mm -hmm. of the of the people. Yeah. Yes, and also I downloaded the podcast you um you told us in the study plan. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what what's that? Where what's the chat? There are many actually. Hidden brain, everything you suggested actually I followed in the study plan. But actually, I was not able to follow it. As in every day because of work. But what yeah. I did during my off, I will do the five days or six days in one day. Oh my God. Like that. <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> hectic. You must have been Actually, exhausted. Not really if you're enjoying right. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, like yes. here's another great point though. If you're enjoying mm -hmm. what you're learning and what you're studying yeah. and what you're doing, it doesn't feel mm -hmm. like work. It's the same with like yes. work, work. Like mm -hmm. right now I am technically working, right? Mm -hmm. But like this is enjoyable, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same for mm -hmm. IELTS, guys. That's why the mm -hmm. study plan, the Three Keys IELTS study plan is vital if you're gonna push that english push those scores because like crystal yes. said i recommend i it's in there it's listed the most mm -hmm. the most fun podcasts that i also yes. like the sitcoms mm -hmm. i like the you know like everything is in there that you need um yes. so you you enjoyed most of the podcasts yep mm -hmm. fantastic especially of course the the um uh the exercises I did some exercise, okay. especially I uh, chose to do the computer base. Uh -huh. What I did is actually in listening. Oh, can I jump to listening? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Talk about whatever you want, Crystal. <laughs> no, because I just remembered I booked a uh, IELTS exam through computer base. Mm -hmm. And then I used before I used to uh, review or do some practice test um, paper, on paper base. Yeah. But yeah. what I did is um as you said there's no difference with paper based and computer based practice test but yeah. what i did is i used the computer i mean i used my laptop to uh, practice because it's computer based you have to um have the feel and exactly. how to answer the listening questions yeah through typing right exactly <laughs> that, no completely that, that's what i did Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, here's a, a thing that we've talked about on the podcast before. When you are preparing for the exam, in mm -hmm. your test practice, you have to make it as much like test day as possible. Yes, so listening yes. is a great mm -hmm. example. You have to prepare by listening to something on a stereo, on a boom box, on a mm -hmm. speaker, because yes. the speakers and test centers can be weird and surprising if you're not used to that. Same yes. with computer. That's mm -hmm. why we have a, a whole Three Keys IELTS course just for the computer test. Yes. So you can do all of your mm -hmm. practice like that. Actually, it, it amazes me, Miss Jessica. How did you do that? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I can practice like I'm really in the computer based test. <laughs> Yeah, no, it wasn't easy. Lindsay and I mm -hmm. had to uh, do a lot of research to find the proper platforms. And mm -hmm. the first step was I actually flew to Canada. I went to Victoria mm -hmm. to take the computer oh, exam yeah, <laughs> because it wasn't here yet. Um, mm -hmm. And from there, we could replicate. That's a great word for yes, mimic or yes. copy. Mm -hmm. We could replicate mm -hmm. it for, for you guys. Um, yeah, so it's I'm really not helpful, Miss Jessica. Awesome. So I'm not yes. surprised that listening was your highest score at an eight. Yeah. It sounds like that's the <laughs> totally. skill you most like identify <laughs> with. So that's fantastic. Um, mm. So speaking seven, let's talk about this lastly, because speaking is also, I mean, speaking and writing, like these are the two usually yes. biggest challenges for students. Um, were you nervous on the speaking exam? Actually, a few days before my exam, I'm really anxious. I can tell that sometimes I can't even breathe thinking about oh, it. Oh, gosh. But, oh. Yes. But actually, um, the anti-anxiety plan, their course, really helped. I awesome. mean, I just really um, had myself um, encouraged with that 
rock it. <laughs> you have you to rock, rock it, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. I and love it. One, uh, actually, one thing that really helped me is I had my friend, which is that really um, became my speaking body for a day or two. Cool. I mean, she's really, I mean, she's a friend from long before college. But, okay. Um, she really took time to help me. So, hi, Bear. Thank you so much. <laughs> shout out to what's her name? Yes, Jazel. Jazel. Shout out to Jazel. Yeah. Um, she's actually a nurse in UK. Oh, very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. So, here's here's the, the last observation I'll make. Support. You're talking yes. about your friend Jazel, mm-hmm. right? I know in my mm-hmm. life, I I would not be as happy as I am without the support of my friends, for sure. Yes. But in preparing mm-hmm. for IELTS, guys, um, it's great to, to find. Yeah, you have to mm-hmm. speak out loud. Like, yes. that's it. <laughs> actually, sometimes before, uh, actually, before I walk into the room, can I channel something? Can I channel Miss Jessica Beck? I mean, <laughs> because it's really lovely how you speak and your intonation is perfect, 100% incredible, right? <laughs> but awesome. then, guys, actually, what I realized is you just actually, it can, you can do that. You can mimic Miss Jessica Beck. Sure. But yeah. the, actually, the, for me, it became um, powerful when you just be yourself, when you yes. speak. And that is for uh, all of life, by the way. But yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Guys, um, when you can be yourself in English, I think that is Mm -hmm. the ultimate goal of everyone Mm -hmm. outside of IELTS, right? Mm -hmm. Be who you want to be in life in your first language. But if you can do that in English, you will get a seven or higher on the speaking exam. The confidence of being yourself. You have stuff to say Mm -hmm. because these are your real ideas. Don't try to, Mm -hmm. you know, think, okay, how would Jessica answer this? Or what does the examiner (laughs) want to hear, right? Like that's not you, it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Totally. As you say, you have to share your personal experience as to improve your intonation, your fluency, you know, all that. (laughs) <laughs> and you got a seven. I mean, yes. the the proof is in the pudding, as oh we God. say, which is a weird idiom. But um, mm. <laughs> all right, Crystal. So before we finish up today, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to no, talk to it's us. An and, honor. <laughs> um, did uh, did you have any last advice? Any last thoughts for people out there preparing for IELTS that are maybe listening to this and they're like. Ugh, how did she do that? Like, what? I can't do that. Any last uh, words of advice? Um, enroll in Trick Science. <laughs> okay, I love it. I did not tell you to say that, and oh, thank you yeah. very much. So, guys, go to All Ears no, English. Mm-hmm. All Ears English. Oh, dot com. oh, go ahead. Something else? No, well, I mean, just be confident and yes. do your best and give time to practice and speak up. I mean, it really gives you um, the courage to speak when you practice. Yes, yes. I think mm-hmm. that is um, an enormous mistake that happens a lot. I Sometimes students tell me that they're having trouble speaking, right? Um, it's difficult. Mm-hmm. And yes. uh, they say, but I listen to all these podcasts and I watch movies. And why is it still so hard for me to speak? Because that's not speaking. <laughs> Listening yeah. is great. Mm-hmm. It does add to your skills. But guys, you have to speak English out loud as much as possible to be prepared for that seven or higher on speaking for sure. Um, yes. So guys, go to allearsenglish.com slash K-E-Y-S. That's keys, of course. <laughs> um, we got the general course, academic course, computer course paper course whatever you need guys the online course is right now waiting for you all earsenglish.com slash k-e-y-s all right crystal we are so proud of you and we're so happy you came on the show thank you so much thank you so much too it's an honor it's an immense pleasure (laughs) all right well good luck in the u.s i hope to see you (laughs) oh yeah get drop me an email we'll hang out It'll be awesome. All right. Bye, Crystal. Thank you so much. Bye.